I'm going to be doing a video today on a new type of carbon graphite mold I made the other day. I started to build them about a year ago and then just gave up on them and then I had some time this week so I played around a little bit actually got some molds at work and it's for the folks that have pottery kilns uh, small furnaces that they can get upwards of you know 2000 degrees in and it's a carbon graphite mold that you just put it together put some silver or gold into the top chamber hook it together put it in the furnace turn the furnace on when the furnace gets up to the melting point of the metal you've got in there uh, gravity will take over and the mold will pour itself it's got a two and a half by two and a half heat chamber and it's nine inches deep in there so I get five couples with out any problem and I was making graphite molds the other day and I come up with an idea and so what I did is I've made a mold that I can put the silver in now I just wired it together but I've got two beads of silver there's a chamber on the top then a sprue port so I put the silver in there I charge that up then I made a little flat spatula put that on there take the handle off torch melts in pretty good if the uh, got thumb screws that hold it in place and then the thermocouple right there goes in from the end and it is not wasting any time we're heading up over 1600 degrees right now so we're just gonna let this run a while but this the other day I had this up close to 2000 degrees which is just about the limit for propane and air so anyway I'll do this again when I got a little more to show well, things are really progressing. You can see getting this kind of result with a burns matic torch. My Red Dragon torch uses a gallon and a half of propane an hour to where my TSA 1000 will run hour and a half, two hours on a small cylinder, let alone the, the barbecue tank that I run it off of. But we're almost at almost at 1750 which is 100 degrees above the temperature it takes to melt sterling silver so I'm gonna see if I can I've got all the doors open and the shop door propped open about two feet but I'm gonna see if I can reposition this and look inside the fire chamber that entire mold is already coming up on yellow which is well above the melting point of silver I can see down in the bottom I don't know if I can get any better nope anyway you can see by the light in there the real bright little light that's the baling wire that I have the mold wired together with well let's take a peek giving it about another 20 minutes see what we're doing in the box oh that's great almost 1800 degrees uh, that's more than enough to sterling melts around 1641 just about the cone of the sprue the silver has flowed down in. Now, 
did it flow enough to completely fill the mold? I don't know, but we're going to find out. I'll get this thing moved over to the table and repositioned. Yeah. I guess it's in the but I My channel locks to hold it. I have this wired together with bailing wire. Top piece. bottom piece no idea what I'm gonna get well that's what I got he had poured itself okay a quick note about pickle First of all, the pickle that I use is an acid. It's not anything to do with dill pickles or sweet pickles. It's just a term that probably got swung into the jewelry business for the pickled pipe that's used in industry. It's an oil uh, acid treatment. Well, this is primarily an acid treatment. The new pickle is non-explosive burns like heck if you get it on your your skin especially when it's in the granular form then this is just clear water and the pickle that I use is for precious metals non-ferrous and these tongs are uh, copper very very pretty clean took all the scale off of it now this may look kind of a dull white but I guarantee you that you hit this thing on the buffing wheel and with the rouges it will come right on now the sprue the way the sprue is is I will take this and beg my wife to use her jeweler saw and I will just saw that off flush then on her belt sander I will go over the edges lightly and then I will take some 400 or 600 grit paper sandpaper and slick off the front and the back that has a little divot there that's where idiot here got a little aggressive with the end mill and snapped a piece out and made a hole so because it was a hole in the mold it's a positive here but uh anyway that is a gravity fed mold and what it does is this would allow people with uh, kilns pottery kilns uh, to go ahead and, and play with silver and gold. Well, that's enough. Bye.